Alright, welcome back to more of Nine Villages. And I got some good stuff in the last part. And I'm probably just gonna do more scouting in this part. Try to get to the next uh, mini dungeon. Uh, but that might take a while. So, you know, may as well explore a lot of this overworld section. <laughs> At least I have Slash, so that should help a little bit. Most of these screens have nothing on them, so... This is pretty much going to be <clears throat> resembling a Zelda 1 coastline. And as you'll see when you get to the right side, you'll see a you know, more familiar territory. I really managed to stretch out this. Well, it used to be a few screens into a... Just a long stretch of road. It just seems to go on endlessly. Random, a random cave here. You actually do want to go through this. Handle some good mileage. And this takes you to a piece of heart. So we'll scoop that up. get a glimpse of the Moblin Woods, and yeah, we're gonna be going through that. <clears throat> and it's quite the maze. And 
than just free money, I'm gonna leave that for later. Getting to the end of this coastline at some point. Okay, finally reaching the corner. And that's to find that warp point. And I use this for later on. So you see the coastline looks somewhat familiar. You know, it's like in the same type as in uh, Zelda 1, with the two docks there. A piece of heart on this one, and you know, obviously gonna need a ladder to get that. Shop, nothing <clears throat> really interesting in that. Again, the Moblin Woods, this is a really convoluted place to explore. And I just want to map out some squares on this side. Not sure which way I'm to be entering from. So I'm just going to go back to the uh, coastline just to explore <clears throat> uh, just kind of the outer rim. I don't think there are any secrets in here. Nothing obvious. Alright, so we're just gonna continue scouting the outside uh, borders. And you have a, you know, your familiar raft point right there, but uh, not gonna get to that for a good while. Reconstruction of the original Zelda overworld. It's just you really inflated the size of it. Uh, how many screens are on these? Rather than just going through one screen, you're done with this area. I 
mean, look at this path. Look how convoluted it is. You gotta go loop around all the way <clears throat> just to get to the inside of the, the woods. Keep going on the outside here. I'm about to cap out on money, but there's really nothing to buy at this point. Okay, that uh, kind of strip of land at the top I'm gonna go through later. <clears throat> Don't have the means to fully explore that yet. At least I've kind of connected with the other side. And to the grassy woods, and true to its name, there's a lot of grass here. Well, I guess not a bad spot to get money, actually. Practically every screen's got tons of grass in this area. So, you know, money, hearts, and all that other stuff. I'm gonna get this convenient warp point for later. Trying to figure out the best way into the woods there. Yeah, I kind of wish there was something I could buy. I mean, I'm just... <laughs> really is nothing left to buy at this point. Well, I haven't explored this area yet, <clears throat> so I guess we'll map out some more squares on this side. Even though this screen looks like it should have something on it, but there's nothing on this screen. Once you get the letter, you get them a lot cheaper. Actually, I think there is something on this screen, but I think there's another shop. So, good to note that for later. Yeah, that's 720 rupee bow. <clears throat> It'll take a while before we can actually afford that thing. Okay, so kind of on the outside of the woods.
Yeah, uh, don't mind that too much. We'll just go in here and start raiding this place. Outside part of it, so this isn't even the confusing bit yet. Okay, so you do get arrows from the from this next mini dungeon, a moblin area. Uh, I'm not sure why you're invisible. I think that might have been a little error there. Yeah, but yeah, I just picked up your 20 rupees that I couldn't even use anyway. No room to carry any more cash. Paul's voice here. Yeah, this is where it gets a little confusing which way to go. Well, at least I despawned the Paul's voice. Oh, okay, that's another way in, actually. Yeah, you see how this loops around? I mean, it just loops all the way around and then you can get into the woods that way. <clears throat> or if you keep following this path, it goes all the way to the eastern coast. I mean, that's a really long path there. Just leave that one enemy here. Again, I'm not sure how he managed to create this without you know, getting really stuck. You know, all these zigzag paths. <clears throat> uh, pretty much only one way through this place. This way first, because I think it's gonna take us to that piece of heart. Take a little while to get through the woods. A lot of screens to loop around. And scoop up that piece of heart. Luckily, the place is somewhat linear. 
and you know, you just kind of keep following the path, essentially. <clears throat> And that's where you want to get to. Uh, that's where the mini dungeon is. But, you know, you're gonna have to work all the way around. straight into the mini dungeon. Just keep looping around. That's really all you're doing at this point. Took to create this type of maze. You know, make sure you don't get stuck or anything. Slowly but surely, you're, you know, you work your way inside, <clears throat> getting into the middle of the maze here. And there's money in that corner, it's kind of hard to see. I'm gonna get that later, since I can't even hold any more cash anyway. And a convenient warp point right there. to get this, uh, you don't have to do that over again. <clears throat> okay, so here is the Moblin Brothers uh, mini dungeon. pretty much gonna need it right now. So, next part, we'll be going through this mini dungeon, get the item, and we'll go on from there. Alright, see you guys later.